बड़े हो के ले लेना इन द डेज ऑफ फिफ्टी फोर आर्टिकल शिप वॉज नॉट फ्री नॉट पेइंग एनी थिंग द टीचर वॉज गेट टेकिंग थ्री थाउजेंड रूपीज एंड द गोल्ड वॉज ओनली सिक्सटी फाइव रूपी पर तोला नाउ यू कैन कैलकुलेट हाउ मेनी लैख रूपीज कम्स टू दैट बट आई एम थैंकफुल टू माई अंकल मिस्टर मुजाहिद हुसैन द फादर ऑफ चिश्ती मुजाहिद हु गोट मी आर्टिकल शिप फ्री ऑफ एनी कॉस्ट and i was such a poor man that i never paid any fees never purchased any new book and never had full clothes and today thanks to god what i did in 59 when the institute was under formation mr a y khan and mr ibrahim daudala were active members and they were pushing me here and there because i was just a boy and i had to go i had not given blood in the foundation of my institute but i have given my labor now what i want that our institute said should have buildings at the moment one building is in karachi lahore and islamabad one plot is allotted is gifted in karachi now i want multan peshawar pindi faisalabad and then third uh, building in karachi and second building in lahore and for that today i have requested shah sahab that please allot get allotted a plot of land for the institute not for me thank you very much no. thank you just a minute i undertake to pay the official cost of that plot from my personal pocket thank you. thank you thank you very very much uh, mr wahid uh this was a list of our uh, golden jubilee members but there's another section we have not discussed as yet we need to recognize the services of the past leadership of course all the time but this discussion or this honor would not be complete if we do not recognize the names of some of the longest serving secretaries of icap mr ataula served icap with dedication from its very first day that is july 1st 1961 to april 30th 1987 which is a period of 26 years let's hear a big round of applause for mr ataula Mr Abdul Rashid Chaudhry saved, served ICAP in various capacities from January 17 1977 and he eventually retired on April 30 2003 as secretary of the institute Now I would like to say a few words about Mr Fazal Hussain Safi who joined the institute as director examinations on April 23, 1996. He became secretary of the institute on January 1, 2005 and retired on April 20, 2010. Mr. Safi is requested to come on stage and receive a shield from the chief guest. this long established tradition of receiving and giving gifts on birthdays and golden jubilees so on this momentous occasion we have certain gifts which are for icap and which have which have been brought over by our very honored guests i would request professor Lak uh, lakshman r watawala to come on stage he is the president institute of certified management accountants of sri lanka and he would like to give away a token on this very special occasion to the president icap
Mr. Watawala has also been the president of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Sri Lanka. Pre um. Honorable uh, Chief Minister, the Honorable Guests, Past Presidents, Ladies and Gentlemen, it is indeed a great occasion for the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Pakistan in celebrating their Golden Jubilee. In fact, uh, we are very happy of the uh, great achievements they have done during this year, during this period, and for the uh, role in economic development, and also uh, the theme that they have chosen is ideal and shows the dedication and the perseverance of the chartered accountants in Pakistan in taking this country forward. So let me once again thank everyone from, the, from Sri Lanka Institute. I am representing both the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Sri Lanka, where I was a, a past president, and currently I am the president of the Institute of Certified Management Accountants of Sri Lanka, and also a part of SAFA, as a past president of SAFA, I convey my best wishes to the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Pakistan, and we cherish very much the very strong relationships that they have had with Sri Lanka and Pakistan, and let us build on this and take them from strength to strength. Thank you very much, Professor Watawala. And now I would request Ms. Perveen Mehmood on behalf to come on stage. Uh, to representing Institute of Chartered Accountants of Bangladesh. I would also request Ms. Perun Memu to come and say a few words on this occasion. Thank you. I congratulate uh, Institute of Chartered Accountants of Pakistan from um, Institute of Chartered uh, from Bangladesh and on behalf of also I say maybe of uh, Bangladesh. Uh, they couldn't make it here but our good wishes for Institute of Chartered Accountants of Pakistan for all the way to come. And I, um, our founding um, um, member uh, of Institute of Chartered Accountants of Bangladesh, Mr. A.K. Chaudhary, is here, and he's our past president. I will request him to say a few words on behalf of Bangladesh. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Madam President. I'm carrying greetings of Bangladesh Institute and the whole of Bangladesh to Pakistani Institute and to the whole area of Pakistan and the people of Pakistan. I had my articles with A. Ferguson and Company. I was the article of Mr. J.P. Bray, OBE. I'm sure a lot many of you will remember Mr. Bray. And I qualified as Chartered Accountant in 1968. I was the member of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Pakistan from 1st January 1969. In between, if Mr. Javed, uh, a good speaker, the former minister of Pakistan, if he allows me, I can add two words in between. Possibly he missed or he did not like to disclose. That's, he said, the majority people of the then Pakistan decided to change the name and the nationality. The proposition of Bangladesh, I, I mean the Pakistan in 1940, 23rd March, was traveled by Shere Bangla A.K. Fazlul Haq. If That's how the Pakistan was born on 14 August 1947. If Mr. Javed agrees, 